You know, the outpouring of love and support in this community is just overwhelming. We're standing right now in front of the Salem School where little Jeffrey Bourgeois went to school along with his older sister and brother. Now, starting today, grief counselors and loss counselors are here on hand for the children and their parents. Now, many people are coming in. We've also seen people come in with balloons, colored balloons, because some of the parents have gotten together and they want to actually release those balloons in honor of little Jeffrey. Now, his his loss is certainly palpable here in Salem. So many wanting to know what they can do, and the town is responding. A fund has been set up at the Chelsea Groton Bank for the family. The town's clerk's office, the town clerk's office rather, is also accepting donations. We're also told that a candlelight vigil will take place tomorrow night at the Salem Town Green at 745. Now that will be also for healing for the community. Many people here are hurting and they want somewhere to go. They want to talk to people and that is as much for the family as it is for the community. We're told that the family most likely will not attend that. The first selectman tells us that they are getting by simply minute by minute. I, I came back to the office after I uh, visited the family a few hours ago and um, I had a report that uh, one of our elderly uh, seniors came in and uh, with tears in her eyes left seven dollars for the family. The community is doing very poorly. I mean they're just so devastated by the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Everybody's coming in today. I told somebody earlier, right from the first thing this morning, coming in crying, you know. And and my sister and I keep breaking down because it's hard. It's a, it's a hard day. Now, Babe there owns Babe's Country Store. She says that she knows the family well. They come into the store quite a bit. And she even has a story about a little girl who came in who was six years old. It's also a post office, and she brought in a letter. When Babe looked down, she looked at the post office. It was addressed to the Bourgeois family and their address. And she says it's just heartbreaking because even the littlest of people here in town are feeling this loss. So, again, we want to remind folks that there is a fund set up at Chelsea Groton Bank, and also there will be a candlelight vigil on the Salem Town Green tomorrow night. We're live in Salem. Tina Detell, News 8.